Although the GPU shortage is finally beginning to show signs of easing, there's still limited stock available and not yet of every model. So it's therefore the perfect time for AMD to release a new pair of APUs. APU simply being AMD's fancy name for a CPU with integrated graphics. The newly minted Ryzen 5000G series builds upon the foundations of the previous generation Ryzen 3000G series, sticking with the tried and tested Radeon Vega GPU whilst modernizing the CPU cores to Zen 3. As the older Ryzen 3000G APUs weren't even Zen 2, but instead the even older Zen Plus, this should mean the new Ryzen 5000G APUs are much faster. The new Ryzen 5000G APUs have quite similar specs to their GPU-less Ryzen 5000X CPU counterparts, with identical core counts, 8 for the Ryzen 7s and 6 for Ryzen 5s, and very similar clock speeds. There are two notable differences though. Firstly, the 5000Gs have much less cache memory, and secondly, they don't get the new PCIe 4 controller and have to make do with PCIe 3. However, as these APUs are aimed at entry-level PCs, this really shouldn't be an issue, as it wouldn't make sense to bundle in an expensive PCIe 4 SSD at this price point. And so far, we haven't seen a major performance uplift from GPUs communicating via PCIe 3 or 4 either. The main reason to consider a Ryzen 5000G APU is for an entry-level gaming PC, as it means you don't have to splash out on a graphics card. This will not only save you a bundle, as decent gaming graphics cards start at around £200 at the moment and are in incredibly short supply, but if you do opt for an APU, you still have the option of dropping in a graphics card at a later date when pricing and availability returns to normal. The goal of this video was to find out how well the new Ryzen 5000G APUs handle popular games. In other words, how cheap can you make a gaming PC? For comparative purposes, we put the new APUs through their paces up against their nearest priced Intel Core i5 and i7 CPUs using the following two test systems, plus the previous generation Ryzen 5 3400G. We also ran the same tests on the combination of an Intel Core i3 plus Nvidia GeForce GT 1030 GPU, as together these come to about the same price as the Ryzen 5 50 600G by itself. Rather than running all the games at the highest quality possible settings like we would when testing a new GPU, we ran each game at the optimum settings to achieve a smooth frame rate on the hardware being tested, which for most games meant testing with medium or low settings. To make all the comparisons as fair as possible, all the systems were tested with the same storage and RAM using Windows 10 Home with all the latest drivers and BIOSes. Valve's classic Counter-Strike Global Offensive remains incredibly popular with gamers, no doubt helped by it being comparatively easy to run on modern hardware. Even so, the new Ryzen 5000G APUs prove far faster than the previous gen Ryzen 5 3400G and leave Intel's integrated graphics in the dust. In real world terms, a frame rate of well over 100 FPS would give you a real competitive advantage over somebody gaming on an Intel system. Dota 2 has also been around for quite a few years now, but it's still one of the most played games. Once again, the new Ryzen 5000G APUs proved far superior to anything Intel has to offer, with frame rates of over 100 FPS ensuring silky smooth gameplay. Fortnite is the newest game in our suite of tests, but thanks to regular updates, it's very popular, especially amongst younger gamers. As with Counter-Strike and Dota 2, the new Ryzen 5000G APUs took pole position, with performance not far off double of the equivalent priced Intel CPUs. If you can't afford a discrete GPU, then an AMD APU really is the way to go to play Fortnite. Rainbow Six Siege is another venerable game that remains popular to this day and at medium settings, the new Ryzen 5000G APUs were just about able to render a smooth frame rate of around 60 FPS. In comparison, the Intel CPUs lag behind at well under 30 FPS, nowhere near fast enough for an enjoyable gaming experience. All the aforementioned games are relatively easy to run, so are a perfect candidate for running on an entry-level gaming PC with integrated graphics. However, we also wanted to see how the new Ryzen 5000G APUs could handle a harder-to-run game such as Grand Theft Auto V. Although we did have to drop down the graphics quality to its lowest setting, we were able to get a smooth frame rate of over 60 FPS on all three APUs. 
with the newer 5000Gs proving considerably faster than the previous generation 3400G. It should come as no surprise by now, but running the game on an Intel CPU with integrated graphics is a pretty miserable experience, with under 60 FPS on all three models we tested. After seeing how the AMD APUs and Intel CPUs with integrated graphics coats with Grand Theft Auto V, we wanted to see how they handle the game with a discrete graphics card installed. This is important to know if you did ever plan on adding a graphics card to an APU system and absolutely critical for Intel CPUs as their integrated graphics is so underpowered. With a GeForce RTX 3080 doing the heavy lifting, the Ryzen 5000G APUs are more than capable of playing games such as Grand Theft Auto V with all the eye candy turned on. They're also far more up to the task than the previous generation Ryzen 5 3400G, which, thanks to its older architecture and four cores, was unable to take full advantage of the RTX 3080. That said, they are measurably slower than their Ryzen 5000X equivalents. For instance, the 5600G was 9% slower than the 5600X. This isn't a deal breaker, but something to be aware of. In other words, a Ryzen 5000X is the better choice if you're planning on installing a high-end GPU from the get-go. We also ran the Cinebench test on all the APUs and CPUs, plus a few more thrown into the mix, such as the Ryzen 7 5800X and Ryzen 5 5600X. Cinebench R20 is based on the popular modeling, animation, and rendering application Cinema 4D, and this test renders a complex scene on the CPU. Now, whilst the Ryzen 5000G APUs really weren't designed with such a computationally intensive task in mind, this test indicates how these processors cope with non-gaming multimedia workloads. And what's immediately obvious here is the simply staggering 118% performance increase from the previous generation Ryzen 5 3400G to the new Ryzen 5 5600G, due to the latter having two more cores and far more modern Zen 3 architecture. It is worth noting, however, that despite sharing the Zen 3 architecture with the Ryzen 5000X CPUs, just like we found in Grand Theft Auto V, the Ryzen 5000G APUs are around 9% slower thanks to their smaller cache. Even so, these APUs are more than powerful enough for everyday non-gaming tasks. While the Ryzen 5000G series APUs are a strange mix of old and new technology, combining the latest CPU cores with an elderly GPU and PCIe 3 bus, they still absolutely spank Intel's nearest price equivalent CPUs when it comes to gaming. For example, in four of the most popular games, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Dota 2, Fortnite and Rainbow Six Siege, the Ryzen 5 5600G was close to twice as fast as the Intel Core i5 11600K. This makes the Ryzen 5 5600G the go-to choice for an entry-level gaming PC. And as shown by our Grand Theft Auto 5 test results, it even makes a pretty decent stab at playing harder to run games. But what about partnering a cheap Core i3 with an ultra-low-cost discrete GPU, such as the NVIDIA GeForce GT 1030? Whilst this combo delivers similar gaming frame rates to the Ryzen 5 5600G, the latter is much faster in non-gaming applications, with its six cores delivering responsive performance in everyday tasks. So, really is the better choice. The Ryzen 7 5700G is only marginally faster than the 5600G in games, although it is much faster in content creation applications thanks to its eight cores. There is a problem though, which is that its much higher cost puts it dangerously close to the combined cost of an Intel Core i3 CPU and discrete GPU such as the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650. This is a real danger for AMD as this puts Intel plus NVIDIA combo would be nearly twice as fast in games. Nevertheless, the Ryzen 7 5700G is still well worth a look if you're going to be using your PC for more than just gaming. Ryzen processors with integrated graphics has been a popular choice for entry-level gaming PCs for a while now, slowly dispelling the myth that you need a graphics card for gaming. And with the current shortage of GPUs and inflated pricing, they look even more attractive. For these reasons, our 3XS Systems team have designed a new range of entry-level gaming PCs featuring the new Ryzen 5000G APUs. These affordable pre-built systems are a perfect
set entry points into the world of PC gaming. If you fancy building your own system, we also sell all the parts separately, including compatible motherboards, memory, cases, power supplies, storage and Windows 10. We hope that you found this video useful. Do let us know in the comments below what you think of AMD's new APUs. Thanks for watching and follow the links in the description to find out more.